Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to go my review of WCW Spring Stampede 1998. Starting off the evening we're going to go to our first match of the night. It is Goldberg versus Saturn. I thought this was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Goldberg and Saturn with Goldberg keeping the pace of the match. Saturn then gets up, hits a springboard leg drop on Goldberg. Goldberg then gets up, hits a press slam on Saturn in the middle of the ring. Flock make their way out to the ring. Goldberg ends up hitting a jackhammer on Saturn. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match is Goldberg. Hats off to Goldberg for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Ultimo Dragon versus Chavo Guerrero. I thought this was a good matchup as well. Back and forth matchup between the Dragon and Guerrero with Dragon keeping the pace of the match. And Dragon ultimately ap applies his signature Dragon slay uh, Sleeper on Guerrero. And your winner of the match by submission is Ultimo Dragon. Hats off to Ultimo Dragon for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is for the WCW Television Championship. It is Booker T versus Chris Benoit. I thought this was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Booker T and Benoit, with Benoit keeping the pace of the match. Booker T then goes for a scissors kick on Benoit, but hits the referee instead. And Booker T ultimately hits the finish on Benoit. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match is Booker T. Hats off to Booker T for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Kurt Henning versus the British Bulldog. I thought this was a good match. Back and forth matchup between Henning and Bulldog with Henning keeping the pace of the match. Rick Rude and Jim the Anvil Neidhart are ringside. Rick Rude ends up attacking Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Henning then ultimately hits the finish on the British Bulldog. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match is Kurt Henning. Hats off to Kurt Henning for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that. We go into our next match of the night. It is for the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. It is Prince Iakea versus Chris Jericho. I thought this was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between Iakea and Jericho with Jericho keeping the pace of the match. Jericho then applies a lion tamer on Iakea, but the hold is broken. And then Jericho ultimately applies another lion tamer on Prince Iakea. And your winner of the match by submission is Chris Jericho. Hats off to Chris Jericho for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Lex Luger teaming up with Rick Steiner versus Scott Steiner and Buff Bagwell. I thought this was a good match. Back and forth matchup between both teams with Lex Luger and Rick Steiner keeping the pace of the match. But Lex ultimately applies his signature torture rack on Bagwell and your winners of the match by submission are Lex Luger and Rick Steiner. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is Psychosis versus La Parca. I thought this was a good matchup as well. Back and forth matchup between Psychosis and La Parca with Psychosis keeping the pace of the match. But Psychosis ultimately hits a springboard leg drop on La Parca. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match is Psychosis. Hats off to Psychosis for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a baseball bat on a pole match. It is Roddy Piper teaming up with the Giant versus Hollywood Hogan and Kevin Nash. I thought this was an okay matchup. Back and forth matchup between both teams with Hogan and Nash keeping the pace of the match. Hogan hits Giant with the bat and Hogan ultimately hits Piper with the bat as well. Pins for the three. And your winners of the match are Hollywood Hogan and Kevin Nash. Hats off to Hollywood Hogan and Kevin Nash for getting the win in this matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is a Ravens rules match for the WCW United States Championship. I thought this was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between DDP and Raven with DDP keeping the pace of the match. DDP then attacks the flock which allows Raven to ultimately hit his signature DDT on DDP. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match, and at that time new, 
WCW United States Champion is Raven. Hats off to Raven for getting the win in that matchup. Moving on from that, we go into our next match of the night. It is the main event of Spring Stampede 1998. It is Randy Savage versus Sting in a no disqualification match for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. I thought this was a good matchup. Back and forth matchup between Savage and Sting with Savage keeping the pace of the match. Sting goes for a a stinger splash on Randy, but instead hits a stinger splash on Elizabeth. Randy then capitalizes on this and hits Sting with a chair shot. Hogan makes his way out to the ring. Hogan then attacks Randy Savage. Sting then gets up, hits a scorpion death lock on Randy Savage. Nash is here. Nash then attacks Sting. Nash then hits a jackknife powerbomb on Sting as well. Randy then capitalizes on this and goes for the cover. Pins for the three. And your winner of the match, and at that time new, WCW World Heavyweight Champion is Randy Savage. Savage. A couple things I'm going to say about Spring Stampede 1998 before I get out of here, man. Uh, number one, this was a solid event. Uh, a couple matches on here that I actually enjoyed. Uh, Ultimo Dragon versus Chavo Guerrero. Solid matchup from top to bottom. Uh, Booker T versus Chris Benoit for the television championship. Solid match as well. Uh, Prince Ikea versus Chris Jericho. Again, solid matchup. Kurt Henning versus the British Bulldog. Solid matchup as well. Uh, DDP versus Raven. This was a solid matchup for multiple reasons. Number one, you know, Raven to me is severely underrated uh, as far as all of professional wrestling is concerned. I think Raven has a great mind for the business. Uh, DDP is another guy who has another great mind for the business. Uh, severely underrated. Could have been multi-time world heavyweight champion in my honest opinion. Uh, and it made for a great match. And then obviously the main event. Raven, uh, Raven. Randy Savage versus Sting. For the World Heavyweight Championship. It was a great match, man. Not only that, you know, and I've stated this multiple times in the past as well. You know, when Sting took that sabbatical, uh, you know, he took that year off and came back as the Crow Sting that we all know of now. um, You know, Sting really took a chance on himself, man, to reinvent his character and and to come back and really have one hell of a Hall of Fame career. And uh, that's exactly what happened with Sting in his career even now. I mean, he still wrestles for AEW right now and he's had... You know, a hell of a career for Sting. And uh, this was a solid main event from top to bottom. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that Spring Stampede 1998 was the best show I've ever seen WCW put together. But it damn sure was not the worst. Uh, With that being said, you know, just like I do with every single one of these pay-per-views, I always give these pay-per-views a rating from 1 out of a 10. 1 being the absolute worst, 10 being the absolute best. I'm going to have to give WCW Spring Stampede 1998 a solid rating of a five at best, but this is my review of WCW Spring Stampede 1998. I hope you guys are out there staying safe. Be careful and remember, stay classic. Peace.